The church is the bride of Christ. People that you guys serve and minister to that are part of the body that you're a part, it is the flock of God. And God expects the attendance with the bridegroom, the attendance of the bride, and he expects the under shepherds of the good shepherd to care just as much about his church as he did. Because that's what this is about. This is about the one thing that God said, I am willing to shed my blood for. Now, one of the things that I want to talk about at some point, a little bit later today in our time together, is that, is that one of the ways that you express value to something is endless attention slash creativity toward it. In fact, I'm just going to jump in right now with that right there, because when you think about how you date somebody, you, you always are extremely creative, especially early on in a relationship, because you're trying to win their heart. You're trying to do everything you can to get them engaged with you and hold you. In fact, anybody with any uh, experience at all in the context of shepherding people through marriage is going to come along and say, you've got to continually date your spouse. You think about what you did when you first uh, pursued somebody of the opposite sex. You, you thought, where should I take them? What's going to be the right environment? What food do they like? You, you never showed up at the door and go, hey, how you doing? What do you, what do you want to do tonight? On the first date, where, where do you want to go? What do you want to talk about? You, what, 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 we, I don't even care if we talk. Let's just go hang. <laughs> you don't do that. Everything about you is to try and engage their heart with yours, and you're exceedingly creative. What do we do when we ask folks to marry us? I mean, you just can't ask a girl to marry you anymore. You just don't get on the knee anymore. You don't just show up with a ring anymore. It's got to be this elaborate thing that will hold your girlfriend's friend's attention for at least 30 minutes as she unpacks the story. And if you don't do that, if you don't do that, you have really, in a sense, stolen from her something that, that was going to be a great source of joy. In other words, you show great care and concern for her by the creativity that you put into even the ask to wed hearts together. 